There you go. Okay. Um, Cuyahoga County Public Works Procurement and Contacting Committee for Wednesday, May 2nd, 2018. We call to order. Roll call, please. Calling the roll, Mr. Tuma. Here. Mr. Miller. Here. Ms. Conwell. Ms. Conwell is absent at the moment. Mr. Schron. Mr. Schron is absent at the moment. Ms. Baker. Here. There is a quorum. All right. Thank you. Uh, Madam Clerk, is there any public comment this morning? Uh, no, Mr. Chair. No one has signed in. Okay. And if I could have approval of minutes from the April 18th, 2018 meeting, please. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, the opposed nay. The ayes have it. Uh, Madam Clerk, if you could read the first item on the agenda this uh, morning. Resolution number 2018-0089, authorizing an agreement with and various payments to Dana Green for the purchase of property located at 430 Richmond Road, Richmond Heights. Okay, and it, if, if we could, please just state your name for the record. Sure. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. John Myers and committee on behalf of Department of Public Works. Okay. And Mr. Myers, what is this uh, uh, resolution in relation to? This is in relation to uh, the county's purchase of a private residence on Richmond Road in the city of Richmond Heights, 430 Richmond Road. You see the permanent parcel number mm -hmm. there. Uh, this is uh, um, mandated by the FAA in compliance with our airport master plan that was approved back in 2010. Uh, this is the last uh, remaining privately owned residence uh, south of the runway on, on the west side of Richmond Road. So um, the owner was uh, willing to sell finally, and we are purchasing um, according to fair market value and outside appraisals and FAA guidelines, which include uh, those relocation costs as well. Okay, and uh, if you could just uh, for uh, some of this, well, I guess we're still newer on this council, but uh, Ms. Baker and myself, so explain, um, this is a mandate from the FAA, then is this for like... Uh, Essentially for safety, safety. reasons. Safety, okay, um, okay. That uh, is part of uh, the, one of the planes of approach to the airport from the west. Uh, these, this is an area that uh, planes would approach the runway okay. and uh, is, is required under the airport master plan. Okay. Any questions from my colleagues? Yes. Mr. Miller. Is this the last piece of property that we have to purchase or are there others? This is um, the last piece on this in this area. Um, the plan uh, continues to will continue to grow and change based upon new FAA compliance. Um, uh, Mr. Chairman and Councilman Miller, so I also neglected to um, communicate that 90% of the costs here will be refunded to us by the FAA at some point in time as uh, they are requiring this for the operation of the airport. Okay. Would it be a correct statement to say that there is no other property that we are mandated by the FAA to acquire at this time, but there might be? be others down the road as future regulations there's, develop? There's none that I'm aware that we're mandated to buy at this time, but as I said, that is subject to change based upon changing safety standards and any improvements in the, in the, in the master plan. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Miller. Ms. Baker? And I'd you. I'm sorry, Ms. Baker. Also, I'd like to recognize that uh, Ms. Conwell has uh, arrived as well. Thank you. The... Um, I understand the fair market value of 128 uh, and then adding 80. So we're actually paying more than the fair market value if you add the house um, relocation in. The 90% reimbursement, does that include the, the um, relocation of the house? Mr. Chairman to Councilman Baker, yes. Um, both, the, both those funds, the, uh, the total of 208, we would be eligible for that reimbursement as well. If I may, should that be, um, that, that's a pretty big deal, getting 90% of that back. Should that be noted anywhere in, I, I didn't see it in the actual legislation. I'm sorry if it's, it's not in the caption. Um, Is it anywhere in, your, in the uh, resolution? I do, I do not see it, I'm sorry, in the resolution. But since it's not, I, you know, I, I would argue that while, I always should clarify that, Mr. Chairman, we're eligible for that reimbursement and we're working closely with the FAA in fully anticipation of that. But until 
it actually happens, it will take some time uh, as far as we have to actually close. These numbers, uh, Mr. Green, the seller, has to show actual costs, so it's still a floating number, so it will be some time, but uh, mm -hmm. the general concept is uh, standard in this type of activity that the FAA funds a significant part of the capital improvements uh, related to the airport. Just as a follow-up to that, so uh, would we uh, know sometime down the road that this actually was reimbursed, or is that just something we... Yes, I, I don't, it, 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 because of our processes and the budget cycles and right. FAA and federal budget cycles, right. it, it, it could be you know, a year or two before we actually receive the dollars into um, our, into the county treasury. Okay, good to know. Thank you. I have a follow-up. Mr. Miller, follow-up? Yes, the, uh, the $80,000 amount, is there a set process for determining that or, or was this a matter of negotiation? Good question. It's, um, 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 Mr. Chairman, to Councilman Miller, it's a set, uh, it's an up to, we don't actually know because actual costs have to be submitted. This is based upon, we've, you know, we've done estimates as far as moving costs, uh, finance, differential costs. The thing that's sort of unique about this parcel is it's a smaller house on a large, very large lot. So part of the um, FAA and federal relocation guidelines are very specific. And um, there's a, one provision that talks about a differential. So uh, this person needs to be able to buy something similar. Uh, so there might not uh, be something exactly similar. So there's a, a formula to be able to, to figure out uh, full compensation to sort of have, in this case, uh, an even outcome. And because of the uniqueness of this property, small house on an acre plus lot in suburban uh, Cuyahoga County creates a large part of that eighty potential eighty thousand. Mr. Miller, follow up. Uh, I would just uh, suggest, just for clarity, that we might uh, consider amendment to uh, to add a whereas clause, saying that uh, that whereas it is. Uh, anticipated that the county will be able to apply to the FAA for reimbursement of, of up to 90% of the costs associated with this purchase and relocation. I'm uh, happy to, we're happy to accommodate. Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. That, that way it just um, uh, clarifies what we intend. So. so so I will then so move. Okay, so we have a, a motion for that uh, motion. We have a second. All those in favor of the amendment? Aye. Aye. And opposed? And the ayes have it, and so we'll have that amendment. Um, mm -hmm. Appreciate that, uh, you, Councilman Miller and Councilwoman Baker for the, your comments. Okay, thank you. Um, Madam Clerk, the next resolution? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Need... I'm sorry. We still got a vote on it. I'm sorry. Move. Do, do we need suspension? Uh, before uh, before you leave, Mr. Myers, uh, timing on this? Uh, yes, I'm sorry. Thank you for clarifying that. Uh, we are entering the business phase of the process. Okay. Uh, the business phase of 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 the appreciate phase of the business the issue. Okay, so I will, uh, I will move that we favorably recommend 2018-0089 with recommendation to leadership for second reading suspension. Most appreciated. Okay, so we have a motion to second for second reading suspension. All those in That's favor as say amended, aye. Of course. As, as amended. Yeah. <laughs> All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed nay, and the ayes have it. All right, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, we have one more question here. Yeah, Mr. Myers. Through the chair to Mr. Myers, uh, have we ever done any business with Dana Green before? The name um, sounds familiar. No, there, I, there was an issue raised as far as the county employee by a similar name, I believe. But. The only thing, Nicole English from Public Works, is we did have to cut trees down on Dana Green's property. Okay. So through Board of Control, we had an action that we had to pay him for the trees that had been cut down. And that was the only other action that we've okay. seen. I knew I saw the name. Thank you. Okay. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Mr. Myers. All right. Uh, Madam Clerk, if we could have the next resolution read. 
Resolution number 2018-0090, making an award on requisition number 41759 to Narone and Sons and the amount not to exceed $1,915,278.25 for the Broad Rock Court Sanitary Relief Sewer Connection in the City of Parma. Okay. Uh, if we could uh, have your name for the record. Dave Marquardt from the Department of Public Works. All right, Dave. Mr. Marquardt, um, if you could explain this resolution to us, please. Uh, the project, the Broad Rock Court Sanitary Relief Sewer uh, Connection, involves installation of a sanitary sewer on Broad Rock Court and Old Rockside Road within uh, the city of Parma. Uh, its purpose is to provide sewers to meet the Ohio EPA findings and orders, which requires the city of Parma to eliminate existing failing septic systems that are within the area of the sewer construction. Uh, bids were opened on March 29th. Uh, seven proposals were pulled from OPD. One bid was received. Uh, this was a federally funded project. A 3% DBE goal was set and the contractor submitted the DBE subcontractor contractor forms that were required. Uh, the contractor was deemed non-compliant by OPD because of a financial statement that was not attached to the bid guarantee and contract bond. Uh, so the public works requested the missing form from the contractor and chose to waive the informality uh, that was supported by the law department. The engineer's estimate was $2,310,000. Uh, we're recommending an award to Neroni and Sons Incorporated for $1,915,278.25. Uh, this uh, bid is 17% under the engineer's estimate. Uh, the project's located in Council District 4. The notice to proceed uh, would be June 1st, 2018, and an anticipated completion around May 31st, 2019. Uh, funding for the project in involved a variety of funding sources. Uh, the Army Corps of Engineers uh, provided a grant for $1 million. Ohio Public Works Commission uh, provided a grant for $225,000. Uh, Ohio Public Works Commission provided a loan for $215,278.25. Uh, Ohio Water Development Authority provided a loan for $225,000. And Northeast Regional Sewer District's Municipal Capital Improvement Program uh, provided a grant for $250,000. Uh, we're asking for approval on second reading suspension of rules. Okay. I'll open the floor. Uh, Ms. Conwell. Through the chair to Mr. Marquette, what qualifies this uh, contract for the Army engineers? Um, I don't know if it's a grant or... We actually didn't pursue the grant from the county's perspective. That was uh, Parma, Parma's okay. engineering division. And the grant was actually in Parma's name, not the county's. Okay. So uh, with the grant, they'll reimburse uh, the county as our expenditures take place. Okay. So you also, would that include the loan amount that we're giving them or just? Upfront cost? Are we doing upfront cost? Well, that will be that million dollars. I'm not sure what part of the contract it applies, but it will come in as the expenses take place on the contract. Okay, thank you, Mr. Miller. Just a comment that it, that it, uh, even though we only got one bid, it appears that we got a very favorable bid. And 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 that sometimes uh, just the possibility that there might be other bidders out there can can be helpful in this process. Yeah, I did ask the staff the question of uh, why we thought we only got one bidder. Uh, 
At the same time, this contract went out, Northeast Regional Sewer District was doing some large contracts. And so I think we lost some bidders uh, who were bidding on some of the larger contracts at Northeast Regional. But we still got a good good price from Absolutely. this contract. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if this had come in 9.8% uh, over estimate, well, I would have been concerned. But uh, with what we've got, it looks good. Right. So I think it's 17%, you said, under the estimate? Yes. Yeah, I mean, that's, a, that's a nice percentage. Um, Ms. Ms. Baker? Thank you, Chair. Is the um, loan that was uh, a part of this the same as the grants that Parma uh, secured that and um, will be reimbursed? The Ohio Public Works Commission loan uh, and the Ohio Water Development Authority, was that done by? I believe that those OPWCs are uh, reimbursements, but I'm not. <clears throat> Nicole English with Public Works. The county applied for those for, in the, the county city's did. name. Yeah, so we applied for the OPWC and um, the other loan. So I don't know if it was clear that, you know, this is a sanitary contract, so it's not <coughs> the county's money per se. You know, mm -hmm. we act, this is one of the communities that we, we have a contract with. Okay. So this is Parma's money anyhow um, that's getting done, correct? Well, it's sanitary sewer funds. For, but Parma's sanitary sewer funds. You know, it's, it's not county general fund. It's or, not. No. no so the loan that's, uh, that was the grant and the loans, all of this was orchestrated even if we applied for it, is going to be paid through Parma. Through their, their sanitary sewer fund. Yeah, the, the county assesses the, the uh, people in Parma for sanitary sewer costs. Okay. The, those monies go into a sanitary sewer fund that the county administers, but we report all of the expenditures that take place in Parma okay. annually. And I just made... So the four hundred and forty thousand that are actually a loan, that's the only uh, because everything else is grant. That's the only piece there that Parma will be responsible for, out of their sanitary sewer fund. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Miss um, uh, Conwell has a follow up. So I just want to be clear. So we're loaning them their already assessed funds. And, and earlier you stated, Mr. Marquette, that they were going to be, the county was going to be reimbursed the two hundred fifteen thousand. But the two hundred fifteen thousand dollar loan is actually from their, their, their assessment fees or their their funding. Correct. I'm sorry. the The grant mechanism is to re, you you have the expense and then they reimburse you that expense. Loans are taking out ahead of time. Okay. And then there's debt service that has to be paid on those loans. Those will come from the sanitary sewer so, fund. Okay, thank you. Okay. Mr. Miller? If we went to full reading, full three readings on this, it, it would be approved before your start date, but only by a couple days. So, uh, so I'm going to move. We recommend 2018-0090 with recommendation for second reading suspension, which will give you about two weeks to, to get it. Thank you. Get it I'll, I'll second that then. So I'm, uh, all those in favor of uh, moving this to second reading suspension, say aye. 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 Opposed nay, the ayes have it. Thank you, Mr. Marquardt. Um, Ms. Uh, Carter, could we have the next, uh, Madam Clerk, the next? Resolution number 2018-0091, making an award on requisition number 41397 to the Great Lakes Construction Company, the amount not to exceed $3,561,561.58 for the Towpath Trail Stage 1 from Harvard Avenue Trailhead to Steel Yard Commons in the City of Cleveland and Village of Cuyahoga Heights. Okay, and if we could have an explanation as, this, as to this resolution? Um, Yes, the, the project involves construction of approximately three-quarters of a mile of uh, multi-purpose uh, trail. Uh, the bids were open on April 6th. Um, nine bids were pulled from OPD. Four bids were submitted for review. Uh, this is a federally funded project. Therefore, ODOT had set a 9% DBE goal. 
uh, which has been approved. The engineer's estimate was $3,083,778.78. And we are recommending award to the low bidder, Great Lakes Construction Company, for $3,561,000. $561.58, which is 15.5% over the estimate. The project is in Council District 7. Uh, the anticipated uh, start and completion dates are June 4th of 2018 uh, through December 7th of 2019. Uh, funding involves 80% uh, federal funding, which is uh, CMAC funding, Congestion Mitigation Air Quality Fund funding, and 20% local funding. Uh, up to 500000 will come from Clean Ohio Shares Grant, and the remainder uh, will come from the City of Cleveland Tax Increment Fund, uh, a TIF fund related to the Steelyard Commons. Uh, again, uh, to protect the funding interests, we're requesting approval on second reading suspension of rules. Okay. Um, just a few questions, um, <clears throat> Mr. Marquardt. As far as the uh, bidder goes, did, did you did you say it was the lowest and best bid? Yes. Okay. And then I believe you said it was 3.8 uh, 3 uh, for, for the engineers? The estimate, and then it, you said it was over as far as the. No, I'm sorry. It's three million eighty-three thousand seven hundred seventy-eight dollars. Oh, eighty-three thousand. I yeah. see. Okay. So. Okay, so that was you said uh, over the the actual estimate. I get yeah, it. So okay. the bid then would exceed the estimate okay. by fifteen percent. Okay, uh, could you explain what the you said three fourth mile of multi-purpose trail? What what what, in, what is entailed in that project? Multi-purpose. What is that? Uh, it can be used for bicycles, pedestrians, okay, that kind skateboarders. Of okay. Uh, and the extents of it, um, there are actually four four stages of trail that are involved, going from south to north uh, of Cuyahoga County. Uh, right now, we've got uh, this. Um, this would connect um, Harvard Avenue to the existing Stage 2 trailhead. Stage 2 has been completed. Um, Do I have one? Stage 3, we now have under construction, which would go from Stage 2 up to Stage 4. And uh, Stage 4, a portion of it which has way? been constructed already. Yeah. Uh, about three quarters of a mile in the Scranton Road flats area are complete. Uh, we still need to complete uh, stage four from the flats area to the future Canal Basin Park. So uh, this is just uh, the actual first stage at the south end of the whole trail system in Cuyahoga. Okay, uh, what, do you, what do you think accounts for the... Um Final uh, selection being over the the estimated price, the cost uh, of the project. Well, our people reviewed the bids and determined that there was nothing inconsistent in the bids. It just exceeds what uh, what the estimate amount was. Okay. Any questions from my colleagues? Besides my name, Eddie. Okay. Nicole, oh, I'm sorry. Work. Sorry. The engineer's estimate, I think, was listed incorrectly on the bid tab, which is where Dave got his data from. But when we look at the um, the engineer's estimate, was actually three three million five hundred seventy two thousand five hundred. That's so. No question. It was just it's point three percent under the engineer's estimate because we couldn't award more than ten percent over. So I knew that number something okay. was off. Okay. So so it's point three percent. Under the estimate, okay. Yeah, that, I that, think that. The estimate I apologize. For no, that's okay. I, I was just, I was just wondering, and that's. Yeah, I knew you know. that's right there. So okay. that, that's all because we couldn't okay. award more than ten percent. So. Well, that's that's good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 I appreciate that. Um, if I may. Uh, first, uh, Miss Conwell would like to add her name to the uh, resolution, and then Miss Baker, and then Mr. Miller. 
Thank you, and that um, was part of my question. Um, as a follow-up to that, just to be clear, the actual amount that you're asking not to exceed is the 3.561 amount, right? Yes. Okay. Um, and then just, um, I guess for my knowledge, it's three-quarters of a mile. Is that how much this next phase, the distance is? Yes, approximately. It, 3.5 million seems like a lot for three quarters of a mile. Uh, what obstacles are you overcoming in order to cut through? Um, and is that typical with the other phases that we've already it, completed? Yes, the, the costs are, are fairly significant uh, for land acquisition. Uh, land acquisition. In this particular phase, it involves construction of a structure, a bridge structure. Oh. Okay. So uh, I think that's what has pushed some of the cost up. So the bridge. And is it, uh, so does, if I may, uh, does this amount of 3.5 higher than the other phases because of the construction uh, pieces that are in here that the others didn't have? Uh, I, I don't think I can answer that accurately. Okay. Uh, it dep each one depends on what you've encountered, some involve elimination of existing bridge structures. Mm. Uh, they were no longer necessary. So yeah. uh, to, to actually compare the, the different phases or stages, I, I'm not... It's not fair to ask that. I guess, uh, is that... Seems like 3.5 million for three quarters of a distance. I mean, only going back to what some of our roads, roads and, you know, and all that sewer work and all that longer distances and uh, how it just seems like 3.5 million it seems like a lot for three quarters when we're talking about a towpath trail right <laughs> uh, nicole english from public works i mean we agree the price it is pretty high when you look at a you know per mile cost um, they are moving in curbs there's uh, a lot of utilities we're encountering um, the bridge itself you know we're building a whole new pedestrian bridge that's going in there okay. um, there's removal of some old tanks that are, you know, along there. This is kind of a industrial route. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and actually, it's been pared down greatly. The cost it initially was like ten million dollars for wow. this stage, which we couldn't afford, and had several bridge options. So it's been brought down um, okay. significantly as part of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, the good news is, um, for the county side, we, we don't fund any of it. Right. You know, this is all funded through through federal CMAC and then the local funds with some grants. So we right. only administer the the construction of the project. I, I would but, imagine the topography in in a. Right, an industrial area, industrial you know, area. it's not just mm -hmm. open that you're, right. you're putting right. 10 feet of asphalt down. I mean, there is right. a lot of road work being done as part of this because we're, we're um, narrowing the roadways along there, so rebuilding curb lines, sanitary sewers, water lines, that kind of thing. In case I'm asked, I just wanted to know right. if, yes. you know, based, because it would have to be mm -hmm. extensive in order for yeah, three quarters of a mile for a towpath road. Right, if you just take the lane. map, it, it okay. seems very high. I appreciate that explanation. Okay, all right, thank you. Mr. Miller? Uh, to Mr. Marquardt, who else bid on this and how much? I just handed the book back, but I think there's four bidders. Um, sorry, Lenora normally helps us with this part. I think there was four bidders and they were the lowest. Um, but we can, I can get you that information. Okay. And also, uh, when is the ex expected completion date for the towpath trail project, all phases. The, the, right now, stage three is under construction. It should finish this fall. This is stage one. It should take about a year plus. Um, and then we will bid stage four next year at this time, which will take another probably two seasons to get through. So then we will be connected to Canal Basin Park. Wow. So Almost there. Exciting. So we're talking. No. Uh, Maybe sometime in 2020. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. the thought. Okay. So as far as the other bidders go, it was Great Lakes, SET Inc., Mr. Excavator, and maybe there was just three total. Mr. <coughs> so that was the bidders. Okay. And and how much did they bid? Um, SET was three seven five eight five sixty one, and Mr. Excavator was three seven seven zero five zero three. Okay. Okay. Fairly close. Okay. Okay. Any further questions? No. Uh, Miss Miss Conwell has one more. 
Just a reminder, we've put all this asphalt all over the um, county. Who's maintaining it again? Who's so, going to maintain after the project's done these walkways? And per our agreement, Cleveland is the owner of the facility, so they, they take capital, but the metro parks are the day-to-day -day maintainers. So as far as, you know, trash pickup and cutting the grass and, you know, minor repairs, the metro parks <coughs> do that, but any major capital that'll have to be done down the road is Cleveland's responsibility. The county just builds it, and then we don't have So we, we just the administrator in building it? Correct. So we go back to the maintenance of the roads there. Since City of Cleveland, it doesn't partake in our maintenance agreements for roads and all that. It's pretty much their department going to do it. They're going to handle the whole thing. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Any other questions? Okay, seeing none. And this is federally funded on this current fiscal year, which we need to have everything done and into ODOT before June, so we would appreciate a second. Okay, and with that, um, could I, uh, I'll make a motion for second reading suspension. Second. We have a motion and a second for second reading suspension. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Okay, uh, Madam Clerk, if you could, thank you. If you could read the next resolution, please. Resolution number 2018-0092. Making an award of requisition number 42093 to Bechtier Construction Company in the amount not to exceed $686,326.80 for rehabilitation of West 41st Street Bridge number 01.05 over Norfolk Southern Railway and Train Avenue in the city of Cleveland. Okay, and uh, Mr. Marquardt, uh, this resolution, please, an explanation. Yeah, this project involves uh, rehabilitation of the, the bridge. Uh, to replace uh, the the bearings uh, for the beams and improve the uh, the beam seats. Uh, bids were opened on March 29th. Uh, five proposals were pulled and three bids were received. Uh, OPD had set a diversity goal of 10% SBE. The recommended contractor met the goals. Uh, the engineer's estimate was 850000 uh, and we're recommending an award to the lowest bidder, Bechter Construction Company, at $686,326.80, uh, which is approximately 19% under the estimate. The project is in Council District 3. The anticipated start and completion dates are June 4th, 2018 uh, to September 7th of 2018. The funding uh, will be from $586,326.80 will be from motor vehicle license tax, the 750 fund, and 100,000 will be coming from an OPWC grant. I'll be glad to answer any questions. Okay. Um, just to, to the actual work on the bridge, you said it's to replace the, um, the bearings for beams and improve, you said beam seats? The beam seats where, seats. The, where the bearings uh, sit. Okay. It's all the work I do with bridges that I just, okay. Um, I, okay. Um, and and uh, this was the, the lowest bidder, 19% under, um, uh, under the estimate. Yes. Okay. Um, any questions from my colleagues? Uh, Ms. Baker and then Ms. Conwell? With the um, funding sources, how do we determine that 100000 comes from Issue 1 funds and the balance then coming through the license tax fund? How do we determine those amounts? When we apply for OPWC money, we kind of do a, uh, an analysis up front of what makes the project acceptable to OPWC okay. uh, to receive the grant. So... In this particular case, we chose $100,000. That made it a competitive amount. All right. Thank you. I, I'm sure I know this some, somehow, but OPWC is short for? Ohio Public Works Commission. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Issue one. I, issue one. Okay. All right. Uh, any other? Uh, Ms. Conwell? Here to Mr. Marquette. Um, can Janine, can you add my uh, name to this? And can you, Mr. Marquette, just check? I know I go a little further uh, than I have before in the district. Just check uh, the district 
I'm trying to to make sure it's three and not seven. Um, are we talking the the bridge is right where we get off the freeway? Is 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 that the bridge area right there? Um, it's it's yeah. just south of I ninety. So it's where you that that freeway exit where you're getting off West Forty First and Forty Fourth. Right. If, if you went south, you would go over this bridge. Okay. So I know some of them are just on the line, and the maps that we have, you know, have a thick line across. Because so yeah, we'll I go I go check. a little further now, but I'd like to add my name on that. Yeah, okay. we can check that to to be sure. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so we can make sure the signs are right too. Okay. All righty. Thank you. Uh, any any other questions uh, with that? Uh, again, if you're looking at a June 4th date, bless you. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, make a motion uh, for second reading suspension on this. Okay, we have a motion and a second for second reading suspension on 2018-0092. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed nay, and the ayes have it. All right, thank you, folks. And uh, is there any other miscellaneous business from members of the committee? Seeing none, uh, could I have a motion to adjourn? And a second. I have a motion and a second to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. The ayes have it. And uh, Public Works Committee will adjourn at 1040 a.m. Thank you.